Three days ago, I replicated Lead Motors stainless steel Epsom salt rechargeable battery. This is the Epsom salt that I used. My Dollar Tree had the Scrub Buddies stainless steel Scrubbies 3 pack. That's what I used. And uh, this absorbent cloth, it's, uh, it's at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, almost like a chamois like material. That's what I used as a separator. And I did about half a dozen charge discharges on that cell with that four and a half volt setting 550 milliamp charger. Any longer on that charger and this cell starts reacting pretty violently. Uh, electrolysis, a lot of hydrogen comes off of it. You don't want to charge it very long at uh, at that voltage and current, uh, but you can see it's running. Uh, after about a half a dozen charge discharge cycles, I set this up to run. It ran a day and a half. At the end of that day and a half, it was still at 0.8 volts. So it it, it was holding quite well, uh, but I went ahead and recharged it then anyway. Uh, so here's two more that I made yesterday, and. Uh, a little bit different on these. I used stainless steel screws on the top rather than pulling some of the stainless off the scrubby out. I, I used some stainless steel screws. And uh, I put both of them on this on this solar charger. And it's just underneath a uh, compact fluorescent light. And uh, so here's here's what those two cells in the series are reading right now 2.72 2.73 volts okay the difference between these two cells is on one of them I put a quarter of a cup of Epsom salt in there and then fill the rest of the cup up uh, to one cup line with distilled water and that's the one that says one quarter on the other one I used a half a cup of Epsom salt and filled it up to the one cup line with distilled water. Now on both of these I put them in the microwave, heated the water so I could uh, dissolve the Epsom salt. But this is what I want to show you I think is real neat. I'm going to check the voltage on the one that was a quarter of a cup of Epsom and notice it's reading 1.21 volts. If I switch that over to the cell that is, uh, I put a half a cup of Epsom salt, it's reading 1.52 volts. Now I was hoping to get a change in amperage. I, I was uh, surprised to get the change in voltage. But the stronger Epsom salt mix is reading a good quarter of a volt higher than that uh, using the weaker mix. Okay, so here we are uh, back in series, both of them again, 2.73. So let me hook those up to these other two cells. Okay, here's all three of them connected now. I'm, I'm, the two new, newest cells, I'm using the steel wire pancake coil jewel thing. And uh, this is the one that uh, had the quarter of a cup uh, of Epsom salt and here's the one that I used the half cup of Epsom salt. So I'm gonna let these run and uh, see how these two new ones hold up against each other but uh, wow what a, what a cool cell uh, and if you wanna wanna experiment a little bit with hydrogen boy these things will really crank out the hydrogen if uh, if you put a little bit of juice to them. So. Thank you for watching.